Peter, before you came back for me, I was ready to give up on the Guardians, because I thought you already had. Thanks for proving me wrong. This is it. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. I've got your back, Gamora. Good. I've got yours, too. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am right. No, I ain't a traitor. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on! Rubble coming your way! I'm... Uh, I'm almost to the... the computer car. I am Groot. Hey, exercise is hard for me, okay? Will, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I'm all hacked in. Plus an added bonus. Her computer's now transmitting some of your music to the entire ship. They're hearing that trash over the air intercoms. <laughs> okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star-Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm hosed. And how's that protection going, Drax? Oh, Peter. What fun I am having. Oh, the blood! It is everywhere. Even in my mouth. <laughs> okay, good to know. going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. <laughs> I am Groot. You did what? Now this I gotta see. Hey, what? What did he say? <laughs> Groot turned the main hallway into a freaking forest. Oh, here comes some Creed and yeah! The flowers are eating them alive. Oh, too bad you can't see this, Pete. It's it's really something special. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Oh, no you don't. Kinda busy here. Thank you. Rocket, all charges are planted. Rest? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh... Yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? I managed to get the helmet. Now what, Rocket? Launch it out an airlock. Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Nope! But now Holla's gonna be looking for it, and it'll be spinning through space! <laughs> Rocket! What? 
ain't so bad. You were right for turning us around. I got a good chance of getting better here. I'm sorry I put you at risk back there. 
I was just so looking forward to camping under the stars with you. Sometimes I'm not sure if I'm taking care of you or you're taking care of me. It's okay, Mom. We'll go camping when you're better. We will. It'll be the best trip ever. It's getting late. <laughs> I bet those stars are shining with everything they got by now. I got an idea. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, I won't. <laughs> what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, baby. Baby, watch the monitor. I don't want to get all tangled up. Hey. <gasps> you. You really are something, you know that? You always come up with a plan. <laughs> I don't know where you get these ideas. I know it's not the same, but it's the best I can do. Don't poo-poo the moment. It's perfect. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so glad we could come out here. Like this, just... Just the two of us. Don't you love that mountain air? Hmm. Mom, we're in a hospital, not out camping. Uh, what? I... S oh. Right, right. Must be the... the medicine the doctors gave me. Now get in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine being cooped up in a hospital on a night like this. Isn't this just perfect? Mom, you're acting strange again. We are in the hospital. <laughs> Peter, you should... You should go. I don't want you to remember me like this. I want you to remember the good things instead. Okay. I don't just want to remember parts of you. I want to remember everything. I love all of you. Mom. Um, I'm so glad we got one last weekend in the mountains together. Oh. <sighs> You're okay. That was thrilling. Ha! I feel so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where. Uh, uh, uh. It's the forge. I can feel it. It's killing her. Paula, she is afraid. Peter? Please, Baldin, where are you? <coughs> oh, there you are. It is you. Oh, my son. 
Forge's corruption must be affecting Hala's mind. I've missed you so much. She doesn't know what's going on. I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Baldi, we <laughs> do, not, do not have much time. I... I missed you too. Bardin. I wish I could have done more. Everything I did, I did for you. I wanted you back by my side. I wanted you to see how great our people could be. But it is not to be. This time, it is I who lives while you live on. You have to let go now of me, of everything. It's time. I am so sorry. I wish I could touch you. I have become a monster. Look at me. I want you to remember the good things. I know this isn't you. Not really. spread through her like poison. This has been one hell of a day. I'm just glad it's all over now. Everyone is. <sighs> so... We did it. Hall is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? We did what we had to do. That's all there is to it. You're right. I think I could use a drink. I am rude. Yeah. Let's go. Hello? You guys still open? If there's booze on the shelf, they're open. Uh, hey! Can I come out now? Is it over? Yes, you can stop cowering like a baby. And we're all pretty thirsty. I know now isn't the best time, but uh, you still haven't paid your tab. Are you kidding me? Hey, guy's gotta pay the bills. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Dude, come on. We just saved your life. I mean, we just saved your bar. We saved the galaxy. Pick one. Any of those should more than pay our debt. You're right. 
You're right. Consider your tab forgotten. I'll start you a new one right now. Kind of an acquired taste. You get used to it eventually. I don't think I want to acquire a taste for this. I am rude. <laughs> Peter, now that this is all over, there's something I've been meaning to say. What is it? I. When I was trapped in that tomb, all alone, the only thing I cared about was my own freedom. And to obtain that freedom, I exploited memories of your mother. I lied to you, made you think she was alive for my own benefit. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I used you. It was a selfish thing to do. And I feel terrible to have put you through that. It's in the past now, Mantis. There's no point in dwelling on it now. I know. But I still feel terrible for what I did. The more time I spent with you, the more I discovered what you've been through. I can tell you and your mother were very close. I could feel it in your heart. Destroying the forge, and losing the chance to see her again. That couldn't have been easy. I think my mom would have wanted me to move on from her. She always said, look forward, not back. Yes, I suppose. But still, what would you say if I told you I could give you a moment with your mother? What? A final chance to speak with her. See her one last time. What about the others? They all lost someone close to them, too. I owe you a debt, Peter. Freeing me from my prison, destroying the Eternity Forge. I can't ever repay you for what you've done. But I can give you this. And I want to give it to you. The remains of the Forge would be able to let me connect with someone who has... died. But only for a few minutes, and only if you want. Hey, 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 easy there. I got you. What? What? Where am I? Hey, Mom. It's, uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I. Peter! <laughs> I. I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'd explain, but we don't have long. You and me being here together, this is only temporary. I see. Peter, look at you. You're, you're so tall. I mean, you're, you're all grown up. And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket, it's ridiculous. You look like you're in a rock band. Are you in a rock band? This might come as a surprise, but I'm a legendary space adventurer now. You always did love outer space and Indiana Jones. So I guess you 
combined your passions. I, I, I don't know where to begin. I, I missed so much, so many years. I, I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I, I didn't want to leave you. To think you had to grow up all on your own, I... And you can't blame yourself. You were sick. Sometimes life deals you a bad hand. Well, I feel fine now. Confused, a little weirded out, but generally fine. I have to ask, you're not... You're not alone, are you? No. I've got people who care about me. I am so proud of you, Peter. I love you. I love you too, Mom. I can't stand goodbyes. Play me a song? Of course. I got just the one. Just gotta find it. It's somewhere here. It's... Nope, that's not it. Almost. Uh, I think it's after... Wait, hold on. Uh, gotta go back. Uh, there we go. Hmm. Good song. They all are. You picked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Are you all right? I didn't want to interfere. Thank you, Mantis. I owe you for that. You owe me nothing. I understand. If you need a moment. So, everything worked out in the end. <laughs> Don't you know? Everything works out for me. Shut up. You know what I mean. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together, after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts. Oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. But somehow, you pulled us through. I mean... I didn't exactly do it on my own. I'll take some credit. Yeah, some. A bit. Just a, a tiny bit. <laughs> oh, never change, Peter. How about a refill? My hero. Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Family's a good one, too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To the best family a guy could ask for. Strangest looking one in the galaxy. Hey, I'll take it. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. 
Eh, the galaxy can wait. Yeah. We gotta have a real celebration. For once. This intoxicating fluid has made me want to fight things. Please, let me fight things! <laughs> I am Groot! Sounds like fun. Count us in. Peter, thank you for coming back for me. I am looking forward to our mission together. Even if this time, we all die. That is a lot of ships. Here's hoping everything works out. We deserve it happening to us at least once. Between you and me, that was all an act back there. Yeah. This plan is garbage and we're all gonna die. Nice to hear you admit it for once. Look sharp, guys. Holla's coming in hot. I am Groot. No, I ain't a traitor. It's a phrase. You know, like, she's right on top of us. I am Groot. Yeah, that does sound worse. Hang on! Rubble coming your way! I am Groot! He says he's nearly at the computer core. Remember, crew, the green button. Don't touch anything else. I am. Quill, what happened? Did you die again? Nope. Totally alive. <laughs> Fly on, human. Guys, how's it going in there? I am Groot. Does that mean you've knocked out the weapon's failsafes? I am Groot. Good enough for me. Okay, Pete, you're good to go. Eject it and plant the bomb. One down. Star-Lord, how is your mission proceeding? It's going great. Ah, uh, it's going less great. About to have some company. Gotta hurry. If they fire that weapon now, I'm host. Whoa! I think I just saw Nebula run by. If Nebula's here... How's that protection going, Rocket? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he sounds so happy. Heads up! going in there, Peter? I'm on the last station now. Now would be a solid time for that distraction. I've got it covered. I disabled all gravity in this sector. There are a lot of upset Kree floating around in here. Ah, better put them out of their misery. Hold, please. Well, looks like that got everyone's attention. Oh, no, you don't. 
Kind of busy here. Thank you. Rocket, all charges are planted. Pressed? Marginally. Once one of the Kree fires that weapon, the whole ship's gonna go, holy crap, that's a huge explosion. Uh, yeah, I think that distraction worked a little too well. There are no more Kree on the bridge. What? Looks like someone just volunteered to go hit that button then. <sighs> do I have to do everything myself? Rocket, I have stolen the helmet as requested. What should I do with it? Take a dump in it? <laughs> Wait a minute. You never actually needed the helmet, did you? Hell no! But when Hala puts it back on her head... <laughs> My pants are already off. <laughs> Rocket. What? Oh, come on! Pete, just saw Hala pass by. Think she's heading your way. Better get ready. Here we go. For the Abdullah! How do you like that? This ends now. Bring it. I am great. Nice one. I do not need a weapon to kill you. Do you not see? This is the end. Everything you have done is futile. Admit it. You have been defeated.
Nice. Not good, not good. Uh, where's Gamora? Gamora. Nebula, you have nothing to gain by aligning with Hala. As soon as you're no longer useful, she'll cast you aside. You mean like you did? I used to look up to you. I wanted to be just like you. You are nothing like me. Just die! And there she is, the deadliest woman in the galaxy. You were always his favorite. The best assassin Thanos ever trained. So prove it. Nebula! Get away from me! I'd rather die than be saved by you! Thanks for wanting to do this, baby. Can't imagine being in some sterile hospital. I'm missing out on this view. Just take it easy while we're out here, okay? I'm worried about you. I won't scare you like that again, I promise. That means you'll have to drive us back. You, me, the stars. This is my happy place. Hey, you want to build it back up a bit? Can I use the lighter fluid? <laughs> Come on. That's for amateurs. Don't let it burn out. Hey. How else are we going to roast marshmallows? There you go. You've almost got it. Ha! Huh. Didn't even have to use the lighter fluid. Well done. No missing eyebrows for you tonight. Fire's... Fire's looking low, hon. You wanna build it back up a bit? But I just did that. Huh? That's strange. I... I could have sworn I... Mom. I... I, I shouldn't have brought you out here. I just... I wanted one last weekend with you. It was reckless. I wasn't thinking straight. 
No matter what happens, I'm glad we came. I'm sorry, Peter. I just didn't want you to forget who I really was. I don't want you to remember me like that, okay? I'm still me. You'll always be my mom. I could never forget that. I love you. Now, why don't you build up that fire a little bit, huh? It's starting to get low. Mom. feel so alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where. This is not over. Really? We have to keep doing this? Give up already! It don't look like she's in any mood to give up, Pete. Where? Is my son! I'm right here. Baldin! It would bring me immense joy to spill your son's blood. I find his attitude incredibly irksome. Well, isn't this a delightful turn of events? Looks like I win. Drop the weapon, Hala. Dust! You may have destroyed my ship and stolen the Eternity Forge, but I still have my armada surrounding us. Unless you have a weapon that can destroy all of them, I still have the advantage. What are you doing? What are you doing? Pete, you're not serious. For once, he does not look like he is joking. Well, that's where you're wrong, Hala. I do have a super weapon. <laughs> where? You're standing inside it. Accuser! The Celestial! It seems to be reacting. What are your orders? Continue firing! You have to stand down! Stand down? Ugh. You have turned my own blood against me! She has forgotten what it means to be Kree! Me? I am thinking clearly! You are out of control! There will be no glory for the Kree Empire if we are all dead! I didn't have to turn Baldin against you! You did that all by yourself! Harmed him? I saved him! I have revived our civilization from the ashes, and I will lead them to glory once again! We were born into war! We are not afraid of one Celestial! Star-Lord, listen to me! Let me lead the Kree instead! You? Lead the Kree? Don't be ridiculous, Baldin! You are much too naive! Under my rule, the Kree would have a chance at normal lives, instead of being in perpetual war! War is normal! It is in the blood of all beings, whether they admit it or not! Death only brings more death! I am Groot! Your weakness will corrupt our people and lead to their downfall! Everyone deserves a second chance, and that starts with Baldin. He should lead the Kree. Thank... 
Thank you. How dare you! I refuse to hand my title over to a child! The thought is preposterous! Surely letting me take command of the Kree is preferable to our extinction! This is the deal, Hala. Step down, or watch an angry celestial head obliterate your armada. Take it or leave it. You know the consequences. I mean, if you're really curious, you could see how forgiving I am if you don't surrender. I hope I am wrong about you, Star-Lord. You have my surrender. This is Hala, the Accuser. All ships stand down. I have surrendered my title to my son, Baldin. He shall lead the Kree. The Accuser has surrendered? How is that? Cease fire! All ships stand down! You had the power to eliminate all Kree. But you showed mercy instead. I will not forget this. I know I have no right to ask for one more favor. But I would like to take my mother into custody. You do not give the spoils of war back to the defeated. She must face justice for her crimes. Do what you will. It does not matter to me anymore. I have lost. The judgment is yours. Please, she is one of our own. My first order as leader will be to see her punished. To show everyone that war is not our future. And those who seek to continue fighting will not be tolerated. You can have her. Just see to it that her sentence fits her crime. I will. Thank you. My people owe you a great debt they can never repay. <sighs> it will be a long road. But I will show the galaxy that the Kree can be trusted from now on. Not feared. Well, if you're looking for some form of payment, I mean, <laughs> units and booze will work. I will take that under advisement. For generations, my people will tell the legend of what happened this day. So alive. We're happy for you, Drex, but I think I can smell my fur burning. Stay sharp. We don't know where. This is not over. Really? We have to keep doing this? Give up already! It don't look like she's in any mood to give up, Pete. I'm right here. Baldin! It would bring me immense joy to spill your son's blood. I find his attitude incredibly irksome. Well, isn't this a delightful turn of events? Looks like I win. Drop the weapon, Hala. <sighs> Dust! You may have destroyed my ship and stolen the Eternity Forge, but I still have my armada surrounding us. Unless you have a weapon that can destroy all of them, I still have the advantage. What 
are you doing? What are you doing? Pete, you're not serious. For once, he does not look like he is joking. Well, that's where you're wrong, Hala. I do have a super weapon. <laughs> where? You're standing inside it. Accuser! The Celestial! It seems to be reacting. What are your orders? Continue firing! You have to stand down! Stand down? Ugh. You have turned my own blood against me! He has forgotten what it means to be Kree! Me? I am thinking clearly! You are out of control! There will be no glory for the Kree Empire if we are all dead! Call off your fleet! It's over! You are bluffing! You cannot destroy them all! I have revived our civilization from the ashes, and I will lead them to glory once again! We were born into war! We are not afraid of one Celestial! Star-Lord, listen to me! Let me lead the Kree instead! You? Lead the Kree? Don't be ridiculous, Baldin! You are much too naive! Under my rule, the Kree would have a chance at normal lives! Instead of being in perpetual war! War is normal! It is in the blood of all beings, whether they admit it or not! Death only brings more death! I am Groot! Your weakness will corrupt our people and lead to their downfall! The Kree can't be trusted! There's only one way to make sure this war ends for good! No! Please! I could. Murderer. You have doomed us. A little lesson for you. This is what happens when you try to take over the galaxy. We stop you. You are no better than her. I never should have come to you for help. Baldin, wait. Where are you going? I did this for you. I thought it was what you would Admit want. Admit it, Mother! You did this for you! I was merely the excuse. You wanted a legacy for our people. Well, this is your legacy. Halla the Accuser. Last leader of the Kree. Sweet one. Come back. After all the lives you've harmed, this is exactly what you deserve. Yes. I did this. I am not going to fight you. You have won. I have truly lost him now. I have lost everything. Failed everyone. I have nothing left to fight for. The Nova Corps should take custody of Hala. They'll have a place for someone like her. Okay. I'll contact them. I can feel her remorse. Her guilt. It is pouring out of her. <sighs> so... We did it. All is dead. The galaxy is saved. I know I should feel good about it, but... 
Ugh. We did the right thing, didn't we? We saved lives, Gamora. If we hadn't done what we did, a lot more innocent people would be dead right now. You're right. I think I could use a drink. I am Root. Yeah. Let's go. still open if there's booze on the shelf they're open uh, hey can I come out now is it over yes you can stop cowering like a baby and we're all pretty thirsty I know now isn't the best time but uh, you still haven't paid your tab are you kidding me hey guys got to pay the bills this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I've shot a lot of people today, and my trigger finger is tired. Please don't make me use it again. That is a very persuasive argument. Your tab is forgotten. Drinks are on the house. <laughs> what is this? It tastes terrible! I... am Groot? Mmm. <laughs> tastes like victory. Victory tastes like... burning. Alright. Fill her up. Actually, the forge is already full. There's still a charge in it. But its power is fading. It can only be used for... One more revival. I'm sorry. It won't be able to bring back all your loved ones. I am Groot. Groot says you should use the forge for your mom. I am Groot. Since you got us back together. <laughs> I am Groot. Wait. <laughs> what about you guys? I mean, you all lost someone close to you. Resurrecting the Celestial Head has severely weakened the Forge's capacity. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'm not sure I need it anymore. Then again, Drax lost his daughter. Seems pretty important to bring her back. What about Lila? You loved her. Guess I'm done being the selfish one. Really, Drax? It should be you! It should be you! After everything we've been through, are we seriously still arguing? No, we're just agreeing strongly. This is an anti-argument. I just got one of those voices that always sounds like I'm angry. Oh, yeah, I guess so. There isn't much time left. The forge is... dying. If you wish to use it, you need to do it now. I'd like to see my mom again. I'd really like to meet her. Take my hand. I want you to think of your fondest memory of your mother. The moment when you were the happiest. Uh, <laughs> it's me. P Peter? I... Peter! <laughs> I... I... 
I don't understand. You're here. Uh, I'm here. How is that even possible? I'll explain everything. I, I promise. Even the part where I died. Peter, <laughs> look at you. You're you're so tall. I mean, you're you're all grown up. And what the hell are you wearing? That jacket. It's ridiculous. You look like you're in a rock band. Are you in a rock band? What? No, this jacket is awesome. Everyone thinks so. <sighs> Whatever you say, kiddo. Seems like you're old enough to have common sense when it comes to fashion. You're just ignoring it, that's all. I... I, I don't know where to begin. I... I missed so much, so many years. I... I'm sorry, Peter. I wish I could have been there for you. I... I didn't want to leave you. To think you had to grow up all on your own, I... Well, it wasn't so terrible. I mean, I had Yondu, after all. <laughs> so, that pirate actually held up his end of the bargain, huh? I'm surprised. I hope he was a good role model for you. Yeah, something like that. I think you're gonna love it here. I'll show you around my spaceship. You can see the stars out of every window. We're... We're in outer space? Right now? Yeah. You, uh... You might need one of these. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh! Peter. Who are all these people staring at me? These people? They're my family. That's Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax, and Mantis. Hi. Nice to meet you, Star-Lord's mom. Star-Lord? Yeah. So? Like the character I made up about you for our bedtime stories? Little Petey, the Star-Lord, and his cosmic adventures? <laughs> Your mother is embarrassing you with secrets from your childhood. <laughs> Little Beady! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh, this will never not be funny. <laughs> hey, I'm proud to be Star Lord. I'm not embarrassed. Of course, honey, we believe you. Someone get this woman a drink. I want to hear more stories like that. After all the pain it's caused, I'm glad to see its power used for something good. <laughs> the forge no longer holds any power over me. I don't know what to do now that I am finally free of it. My life was so entwined with its purpose. With it gone, I feel okay. I am no longer overwhelmed by the emotions of others. I can feel only what I want to. Feel my own emotions. For once. After all you've been through, you... You deserve a break. But I was trapped in that box for thousands of years. I should use this newfound time to see everything that's out there. Before someone tries to destroy it again. My head finally feels... Clear. Thank you, Peter. For all you've done. I'm proud of you, Peter. Yeah? You kept us together after all. I had many, many doubts it would happen. So many doubts, oh, daily doubts. I honestly couldn't count them all. But somehow, you pulled us through. Don't you know by now? Never doubt the legendary Star-Lord. <laughs> oh, 
Never change, Peter. It's pronounced Star Lord. How about a refill? My hero. Hey, you two seriously need to tell us when there's a toast happening. I drink this toxic liquid in honor of the galaxy. May it stay guarded. Oh yeah, I just got here. What about to new friends? I've never had them before. I've got a better one. To vacation! I am Groot. Yeah, yeah, okay, family's a good one too. Hurry up, Pete. My arm's getting tired. To a much-needed and well-deserved vacation. We could friggin' use it. <laughs> I am Groot. Guardians, this is the Nova Corps. We have another situation. You have to help us. You're the first ones we called. Eh, the galaxy can wait. <laughs> yeah. We gotta have a real celebration. For once. This intoxicating fluid has made me want to fight things. Please let me fight things! <laughs> I am Groot! Now, where were we? <laughs> <laughs>